In the world of dredging, one company leads in experience, technology, service, and worldwide support. The Ellicott Machine Corporation, the worldwide dredging leader for over 100 years. It was 1907. The builders of the Panama Canal were carving 51 miles of waterway from the Central American jungles in the most ambitious engineering feat ever imagined. Hard at work were four dredges made by the Ellicott Machine Corporation, the only hydraulic dredges to earn the right to participate in the building of the Panama Canal. Today, our dredges are still used to maintain the Panama Canal, and many hundreds of Ellicott dredges at work in over 60 nations carry forth the tradition of those four dredges. Each Ellicott dredge traces its heritage to the line of discrete dredge components that Ellicott began manufacturing in 1885. By the time the Panama Canal was being built, Ellicott was manufacturing complete integrated dredges in addition to its line of dredge components. In its century of experience, Ellicott has designed and built some 700 dredges, which combined have moved billions of cubic meters of material. Ellicott dredges cover the entire range of dredging applications, from the one truck transportable 270 and 370 series to the 17,000 horsepower Super Dragon models used in the world's largest dredging projects, as well as Ellicott's custom-built dredges for specialized projects. Today, over 400 Ellicott dredges are hard at work in every inhabited continent of the world, some of them with over 40 years of continuous duty to their credit. Ellicott dredges were used in the construction of the St. Lawrence Seaway, and they're used now to maintain the Suez Canal. In sites from the Arctic Circle to the Amazon rainforests, Ellicott dredges are helping recover submerged supplies of minerals, metals, and other valuable deposits. Ellicott's reputation for dependability ensures that the mining applications are accomplished quickly, economically, and ecologically. Ellicott dredges help take land back from the water. Land reclamation projects in Indonesia have transformed salt marshes into productive croplands to help feed that nation's population. Many of the numerous land reclamation projects in Tokyo Bay have depended upon our dredges. Whatever the dredging application, chances are that an Ellicott dredge is performing that kind of work somewhere in the world right now. Ellicott's experience, unequaled by any other manufacturer, assures a dredge match to the job. A dredge that will repay its purchase price many times over in productivity, reliability, and profitability. Since Ellicott's founding, we have pioneered and patented over 50 significant developments which have altered dredging methods throughout the world. Ellicott was first to build submerged cutter drives. This engineering innovation greatly simplified the transmission of power from source to drive resulting in reduced maintenance costs and improved reliability. Ellicott developed a submerged ladder pump, now a standard module for installation in the Super Dragon line. The Ellicott production meter system provides the dredge operator with key productivity measurements by monitoring and displaying the specific gravity and velocity of the slurry. Among the many Ellicott patents is the spud carriage system pioneered by Ellicott for use in conjunction with the bucket wheel excavator. The remarkably rapid excavation rates of the bucket wheel excavator requires an equally innovative positioning system. Ellicott's spud systems provide significantly improved productivity over conventional spudding systems and wire systems alike. The spud carriage system allows the dredge operator to capitalize completely on the capabilities of the bucket wheel excavator ensuring the highest possible excavation rates. Only a spud carriage system gives the operator complete precision control of the dredge's position. The spud carriage system increases dredge productivity in three key ways. First, the system allows the operator to make several advances before having to reposition the spud. Second, the spud carriage system allows the operator to remove the excavator from collapsed banks and return accurately and rapidly to the point of maximum production. Third, the spud carriage system's increased efficiency pays off in reduced wear and tear on the bucket wheel itself. Most recently, Ellicott has patented the tubular spud carriage, an innovation which further reduces spudding time over even our own spud carriage system. Unquestionably, one of Ellicott's most important contributions to dredging technology 
is the bucket wheel excavator for use on hydraulic dredges. Known as the dragon wheel excavator, it was introduced by Ellicott in 1975 and has set new industry performance standards. Ellicott has put more bucket wheel excavators into service than all other manufacturers combined and maintains this leadership position by continually upgrading and improving bucket wheel technology. A closer look at some of the numerous applications of the Dragon Excavator throughout the world reveals why Ellicott is the leader in dredge technology. Paranapanema, Brazil's largest mining company, today produces 12% of the tin consumed in the world market. At Patinga Alluvial Mine, seven Ellicott bucket wheels, the largest fleet of bucket wheel excavators in the world, help Paranapanema boost annual production from 3,000 tons to 19,000 tons per year over a four-year period. And these Ellicott bucket wheel excavators are a key part of Paranapanema's low cost of production, among the lowest in the world. In Green Cove Springs, Florida, Associated Minerals Limited of Australia is mining heavy minerals. Ellicott engineers have worked with Associated Minerals to maximize dredging efficiency. In 1985, Ellicott replaced a 1,200 horsepower rotary cutter head with a 500 horsepower dragon wheel excavator and, in doing so, increased output. Associated Minerals now plans the installation of additional units at other project sites worldwide. On a lake bed in the center of Canada's Saskatchewan province, Francana Minerals was struggling with its sodium sulfate mining operations. Francana's attempts to dredge the hard globber salts with a conventional cutter head had been unsuccessful. Their plant was shut down for a lack of raw material, and their stockpile was entirely depleted. Only hours after the Ellicott Dragon Wheel excavator went to work, the plant was in full operation. At a second plant, later supplied with an Ellicott Wheel Dragon, Francana was able, in a single season, to excavate sufficient raw material to carry their plant operations for three years without further operation of the dredge. Word of Francana's success has spread rapidly, and today virtually all salt operators working with underwater excavation have chosen the bucket wheel excavator. Ellicott was contacted by Mar Kappa Corporation about the removal of copper tailings from their Marinduki Island operations in the Philippines. Two dredges from another manufacturer had failed, but Ellicott's engineering group was convinced that we could solve the problem with a high volume configuration dragon wheel excavator. We guaranteed that our dredge could produce its maximum theoretical throughput for five back-to-back -back eight-hour shifts. The results, measured throughput, was 50% better than what we had guaranteed. Ellicott machinery, priced at $1.2 million, had outperformed two competitors' dredges costing $6.8 million. And we beat the competition by a performance margin of approximately 5 to 1, with a horsepower consumption of about one-third of the machinery replaced. The Genstar Corporation in the United States keeps a tight watch on its productivity. Before any project requiring a major investment is approved, the project must demonstrate a return of at least 40% on investment. Genstar's need for economical sand excavation was a perfect opportunity for Ellicott to introduce the first commercially operating dual bucket wheel in the world.